hello. Ah. Hey. Oh no, over here. Over here. Good boy. Oh, hello to everyone that is here. So, it's been a while since I had a hangout video. This is Coda, by the way. This is Prince Coda of Tortuga Tavern. Hello, baby. And so it's been a while since I had a hangout video, maybe like a year, <laughs> a year or two. So I thought that this video could be a mixture of a hangout, eating, eating ice cream. If you have ice cream, eat ice cream with me. And an unboxing video. If you guys don't know what Smoko is, it's a brand that sells these cute little knickknacks and cute little stuff. And so I'll do an unboxing. And I made a post where I was asking people if they had any questions that they wanted me to ask in a Q&A. So I got a whole bunch of questions. And so we'll be doing that. Yes, do you want a snack? He likes snacks. Good boy. Okay, so let us get started then. So, hello. <laughs> Let's let's eat. Do you guys have ice cream? It is hot outside. And so I thought eating ice cream would be the perfect thing to do. I have some Hagen dazs ice cream here. No. Dogs should not eat chocolate. It's bad for them. In one of the previous hangout videos I did, there was also ice cream involved. And so let's start off with the first question that I got, shall we? And then we'll be unboxing this box pretty soon. I don't know what's inside. I just know that there's a whole bunch of cute little stuff from Smoko. And so for the first question, this question is from Yasa Manazizolahi. <laughs> Uh, and it's a simple question. What's your favorite color? Well, my favorite color changes all the time, but currently and for a long time It's been gray and silver. I Don't know. I think it goes with a lot of things Another question is from Keith uh, This question is besides the ones you play in your streams or shows do you play any other instruments like the cowbell? <laughs> so other instruments that I play on my streams or on my YouTube videos, I play piano, guitar, and ukulele. Other instruments I have played from before have been drums, and I tried playing violin for a little bit, and it was okay, I wasn't that good. <laughs> but I have played drums before. Mm. I don't know why he likes being in front of me, but this is, this is my baby. The next question, it's from Adam, Jordan, or LeBron. And so while I like both, I would have to say, dude's great. <laughs> this is from Josh. Where do you live? I live in the United States. This is from Pamela, my Captain Yasmin bestie. The question is, if you could live anywhere, where would you live? If I could live somewhere else, um, I don't know if I would live anywhere else, but visit other places or travel other places. I would love to. I would love to go to the UK. I would love to go to Antarctica. <laughs> I would love to cruise the sails of the Amazon. Everywhere, really. And so I would visit other places, but as far as live, I would probably live where I'm living right now. Let's see if we can move him over here. Okay, so let's begin with the unboxing video then, shall we? Okay, so let's begin with the unboxing video then, shall we? And so this is from Smoko. They send boxes with cute little stuff inside. So let's see. Let's see, the next question is, it's from Captain Jason. Where is your dream place on Earth where you would like to escape to for three weeks? Ooh, my dream place on Earth that I could escape to for three weeks. Oh, I know what I'm gonna choose. So there's this place. I don't, I forget where it's from. Um, and I hope it's, uh, a good place to go to but there's a wolf reserve somewhere in the United States I forget where it's from but there's a wolf reserve that I would love to go to and hang out with the wolves wolves are one of my favorite animals I'd probably go there so this is from Smoko let's pull out the first thing what is this it's a stackable figurine Sumiko Garashi well, that's cute figurines can be stacked <laughs> that's what it says it could be stacked so let's take a look, let's open it. But yeah, as far as like a, a dream place that I could go to, maybe I would go hang out with the wolves a little bit. I think, I think that would be awesome if I could hang out. Oh my goodness. Or I would go to, you guys ever heard of a quokka? <laughs> a quokka lives, uh, quokkas live in Australia. I just found this out, but they 
are the cutest little things. They're always smiling in, in their photos. I'll put some photos up so you can see them. But I would like to hang out with a quokka in Australia. So that'd be pretty cool. And take pictures with it. So, oh, this is cute. So there's a, ah. Ugh. excuse me. There's a small little one. And then there's a, there's another figurine. And you could stack them. Isn't that cute? <laughs> I'll probably put this on my desk and stuff. That's cute, I like that. Okay, next question. Uh, this is also from Captain Jason. Have you ever tried playing a wind instrument? I have not, but I've always wanted to. A wind instrument that I wanted to play, what is it called? A wind instrument that I've actually wanted to play uh, is a trumpet. <laughs> I think they're super cool. I saw, uh, there's this video with 21 Pilots in it where they did a live show and they had another person bring his trumpet and play while they were playing one of their songs and it was one of the coolest things I've ever seen. And so maybe if I had to choose, I would choose a trumpet. Okay, what else is in this box? This next thing, oh, it's cute. It's a keychain. So in this keychain, it is called a Tato Light Up Potato Keychain. It's light up, how? So. It's a potato. <laughs> That's cute. Got a potato keychain. How do you light it up though? Rub the bottom to light me up. Rub. Oh, look at that. It's a light up potato. <laughs> That's cute. That's cute. Uh, so if you guys haven't noticed, I have a whole bunch of dongles on my phone. I can't get enough of them. One of them is a unicorn. So I don't know if I'll put it on my phone because that'll be a lot of dongles, but I do like it. I do like potatoes, especially light up ones. I do like light up potatoes. And so I will keep that. Okay, next question. So this question is from Mr. Tim. Hi Janelle, since you're really good at playing piano and guitar, I was wondering since when have you been learning these and what made you start on your YouTube channel. So when I started playing, actually my first instrument was a guitar. Uh, not sorry, my first instrument was a piano. And I started playing when I was about three. I wasn't really good at like talking when I was a kid. I had trouble for forming sentences and stuff like that. But we had a piano. And so when I would play the piano, I, I realized that I could express myself more with the piano. And so after that, it was kind of history after that, I started learning. I took lessons, but I kind of quit because I kind of wanted to do my own thing. <laughs> In lessons, they kind of tell you that you shouldn't do this, you shouldn't do that, but I don't know, I wanted to do it. <laughs> and so I started playing piano when I was three. I started playing guitar when I was like 15. And then I only really started singing maybe like a little bit after that. And then what made me want to start my YouTube channel? Uh. I don't know, I remember when I when YouTube started getting popular and people started posting stuff and stuff like that and so I thought that was really cool that I could just post stuff, people could watch, comment and stuff. I don't know, I thought it was really cool. I also, the reason why I started my YouTube is I just wanted to share music with the world and stuff. I think that's pretty cool to be doing it from your own home. Okay, let's do the next one then. What is this? It is a rainbow drink marker and bottle stopper. Ooh, this is pretty cool. So if you guys see it, it looks like that. And I guess this is the cork. You could put it in a bottle and it'll stop it. But then it also has a drink marker. So I'll put up pictures, but if you see, you could take one of these things out, put it on your drink so you know which drink is yours. So that's pretty cool. You can color code your drinks and store away easily. Set of eight. You guys ever have those moments where you're drinking something, but then you realize that it's another person's drink? <laughs> well, fear no more with this drink marker and bottle stopper. Okay, so let's, how does this work? Wait, let me open it. So, let's say I have a bottle. Boop. <laughs> Stop the bottle. That is pretty cool. You put it on a drink and it looks like that and you know which color is yours or you know which drink is yours. Okay, let's do another question. <laughs> this is also from Mr. Tim. Why are you so incredibly kind and nice? And also, how's your dog doing? I hope we can meet him on stream one day. Hey, well, one. Why are you so incredibly kind and nice? One, I appreciate that, thank you. I don't know, I I like you guys. <laughs> and you guys are always so kind and nice to me, and so I really just appreciate it. Every time I have like my live streams and stuff, I really love the community that comes there. Everyone's so, ugh, ugh, you guys. You guys are the best. <laughs> and then how's my dog doing? Koda's doing great. He's here with me. He's being a bit rowdy, but he's good right now. He doesn't want to sit here, and so I put the box there, and now he's in front of me. 
So this is this is Coda. Coda says hi. Okay, so let's do the next one. What is this? A wine pourer and stopper. <laughs> Perfect for when I'm wanting to to open some wine. This is cute though. It's a toucan. Easily pour and seal most wine bottles. And so I guess this is the screw that you put into the wine bottle. What is this? What does that do? Oh. Oh, that's cool. Okay, so you could use it to stop the wine bottle. And then if you want to pour the wine bottle, you can open the toucan's mouth and then the bottle would spill out and you could pour drinks and stuff. That's cute, actually. I do like that. So this question is from my little girl, Mindogus. Uh, the question is, have you ever thought during your childhood uh, period that one day you will be famous, you'll be a famous musician like now? And what is your biggest dream? And have you had a most embarrassing moment at school or work? Cause I did. <laughs> Uh, well, one, have I ever thought that one day I'll be a famous musician like now? I don't know if I'm famous, <laughs> um, but I do appreciate everyone and all my fans that are supportive and everything. And I don't know, I never thought of myself as wanting to be like a famous artist. What I really want is I just want to share my music. And like, honestly, when I was growing up, a lot of bands and a lot of people who play music helped me get through a lot of stuff. And so I was thinking when I was growing up, like, that's super cool. If I can help another person from another side of the world in a different country and I could help them with music, I want to do that. And so that's how I look at it, is that's my goal. More than just being a famous musician, it's more of I actually helped this other person on a different side of the world. Even if everyone hates my music, but that one person, if I help that one person, then it's worth it. Um, and then what is my biggest dream? My biggest dream... Does it have to be real? <laughs> like for example, I, okay, I would love to be accepted into a wolf pack. <laughs> I think that'll be super cool. But if it was like a realistic dream, my dream, I think it has to do with music too. I would love to reach people from all over the world and just share music with them. Just be able to have a platform where I could do that and we could all help each other. It's not just me wanting to help other people, but it really it's like everyone else, even you guys that helped me. And so I appreciate that. And that'll probably be my dream to, to just live a life doing music and never stopping. Okay, next one. Looks like this is the last one in the box. What is this? It is a masquerade. Charades with a mask. Draw, act, guess. Players guess who or what you are. It's a mask? Okay, I see. So it gives you a dry erase marker, a dry erase face mask, 60 second sand timer, 120 cards, and a scoreboard, and pencil. So I guess you draw on your face and then you act out what you are. Which, doesn't it make it easier though? Like what happens if I'm a dog and I draw a dog face and then I act like a dog? Everyone's gonna know who I am. Let's see how this looks like on the inside. Let's do another question first though. The last one of Mindogus' question is, what's my most embarrassing moment at school or work? Oh. Um, I don't know, I have so many. <laughs> Oh, one time what happened, I used to work as a waitress before and sometimes my my mom or dad would come and visit me uh, and stuff and so I was working, I was behind the counter, I had my back face towards the entrance door and I heard someone come in and I thought it was my mom because I was expecting her so I like, I was doing my stuff and then the door opened and then I was like, oh that's my mom and then I turned around and I was like, mom! <laughs> but then I turned around and it was some lady and she looked like she was not <laughs> she was not having it and i don't know if i offended her or anything but my coworkers were there my boss was there also he saw it and then they all just started laughing so this is this is the face mask this is the dry erase marker and i guess i guess i could draw what i am and it becomes a charade kind of thing let's ask another question man it is windy isn't it question is from Sakura. If COVID wasn't a thing, where would you want to travel? And so I suppose it's the same. I would want to travel everywhere, actually. I would want to go to that wolf reserve. I wanted to go to Dubai, actually. I think that would be pretty cool. I want to go to Antarctica and hang out with the penguins and polar bears and stuff. I mean, I doubt that I could do that even if I was there, but I still think that would be pretty cool. I also want to go to the Amazon and look at the wildlife there and stuff. I think that would be pretty cool. And so I suppose, how would you, how we, how you would do it? Can you guys figure out what I am then? I'm 
look, there's a thing that you could put behind your head too. So I could play that. And so that might be all of the questions then. This was another hangout video. Thank you for hanging out and everything. If you guys want to see more of it or want to see or want to do something else the next time that we hang out, then let me know what you would want to do. This is our lovely audience. I don't know where Koda is, but he went off and is doing something else. This is my box from Smoko. I hope you guys had a nice time eating with me and hanging out with me and opening these boxes and answering questions. If you guys would like another Q&A with you or other question uh, video and stuff or you want to see anything else, then let me know. So, an announcement is my album is actually coming out this year on July 29th, 2020. But if you guys go to JanelleNabongOfficial.com, you'll be one of the first to know when my merch store opens. And then once there, you'll be able to pre-order a signed copy of my album and I would also write you a personal message and so yeah thank you guys for watching I hope you had a good time hanging out let me grab Snorlax if you guys want to see anything else from my upcoming hangout videos then for sure let me know or if you want to see any music covers or any songs that you want me to cover then you could put it in the comments below too if you guys want to follow me on my socials it'll be in the description and yeah for sure hit me up so thank you again as my good friend Jason always says make sure that you choose kindness you never know who you can affect and you never know who you can save it's very important especially in today's day And I hope you have a good day or night wherever you are in the world. Thank you so much for being you. And I'll see you in the next one. Okay, bye! Oh wait, I wanna I want Coda to say bye too. Coda, do you want a snack? Okay, good boy. I'll see you guys later.